Good morning. It is wonderful to see everyone here this morning uh, from the gospel lesson from John chapter 9. One thing I do know that though I was blind, now I see. It is our prayer that as you hear the word of God and receive the sacrament this morning, that you are strengthened in faith, that you are given eyes of faith that see every blessing, every promise of God's kingdom for you in your life, not only forever, but here and now, whatever you face, you face it in the strength and hope of your God who is with you. And every service, we are so blessed here at St. Paul Lutheran Church. Every service, the Spirit of the Lord brings us visitors. And if you are visiting this morning, we pray with all our heart and soul that you not only hear about God's amazing love for you and the Savior promised Jesus Christ, we pray that you find that love shining brightly through everyone here. So for those who are physically able, would you please stand up, greet those around you, especially anyone you may not know in the love of God. My prayer for all of you this morning is that you would open your eyes to see for yourself that everything that Jesus did, he did for you. For every single one of you and of course for me. And even right now, he's calling you to open your eyes to the same things that he saw. Open your eyes to suffering. Open your eyes to poverty. Open your eyes to abuse. Open your eyes to locate those who are blind. Blind to the life, blind to the death, and blind to the resurrection that Jesus provided to save us all from our sinful human selves. Most of all today, though, I pray that you would see that Jesus is the light of the world. A light that is more powerful than any of the darkness that sin brings to our lives. Let that light of Christ shine brightly in you and brightly through you to the world around you, to a world that has lost its way, to a world that has lost its way because the world has lost its sight. <laughs>